Namaste. Welcome to Gentle Yoga. My name is Shelly. I hope everyone had a happy Independence Day and is ready for some gentle movement, stretching, breathing. Today we'll include a lot of fluid organic movements to loosen, lubricate the joints, to stretch the muscles, just to feel nice. We will begin on our backs. Go ahead and lie down in Shavasana. Just let the arms walk away from the sides, separate the legs. And close the eyes and Bring your attention to your breath. Just simply observing the breath, not controlling the breath in any way, just being aware. awareness of the breath up throughout your entire practice today. I'll remind you. Also, if you notice the mind in some other place, just bring it back gently onto the breath. And then we'll begin our movements. Bring the legs closer together and the arms by the side. Inhale, sweep up and overhead. And then as you exhale, return the arms to your sides. And keep going. Inhale to reach up and over. Exhale the arms by your sides. Again, inhale to reach. Exhale, return the arms. And just two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale the arms down by your sides. And take a full body stretch. Interlace the fingers and turn the palms up towards the ceilings. Reach the arms overhead so the palms are facing away from you. Legs together and start out by pointing the toes. And stretch yourself long in opposite directions. And then relax just a little bit. And we'll do it again this time. Flex the feet. Go ahead, stretch, reaching through the through the palms and pressing through the heels. And release arms back by your sides. Bring the knees in towards the chest. And a gentle squeeze. And then hands on the knees, right hand on right knee, left hand on left knee. Just begin to circle the legs away from one another. It's nice kind of warming of the hips, but it also feels nice on the low back, a little massage there. And go ahead and circle the other direction. Hug the knees back into the chest for a, a gentle squeeze. Set the feet 
to the floor. Walk the arms out from your sides and then lower the knees over to your left. Try to keep both shoulders on the mat or as close as you can. And then either look straight up or turn the chin towards the right shoulder. Nice place to close the eyes. all to the center and now let the knees fall to the right both shoulders to the mat as best you can looking up or looking over the left shoulder Turn through center and hug the knees into the chest. Now stretch the legs up towards the ceiling, both legs, and turn the palms down by the sides. Ankles over the hips. If they're too far forward, that's a lot of work. Same goes for their too far back, I had that backwards. If they're too far back or they're too far forward, that's quite a bit of work. But when the ankles are over the hips, the bones are just stacked and the legs can almost relax a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna circle the ankles. You can circle them either way towards or away from one another warming up the ankle joints. Go ahead and circle back the other way. That might be a little creaky and you're cracking. That's okay. That's pretty normal. And relax the circles and just a few times point your toes, flex your feet back and forth. You'll feel that down into your calves as well. Then relaxing, squeeze the knees in to the chest. And relax the feet down to the floor. You do the same thing, but for the wrists. So arms up towards the ceiling and just start to circle the wrists. And then circle around the other way. rounds we'll flex the wrists and extend the wrists back and forth and again you'll likely feel this stretch all the way into the forearms. Relax the wrists. Hug 
the right knee in towards your chest. Grab behind the right thigh. So you can keep the left knee bent or you could go ahead and slide it out for this. Just hugging the right thigh in towards the right abdomen or the right rib cage. And we'll take a few extensions with the leg. So you're gonna extend the leg and bend it back in. Go on your own, just at your own pace, bending and extending. Warming up the knee joint, but beginning to warm up the back of the leg as well, the hamstrings. It's not important if the leg is totally straight. You just go to your degree. And the next time you point the toes up towards the ceiling, release the hands. You can turn the palms down away from the side to help stabilize the hips. Reach towards the ceiling with the toe. So the leg is as long as possible. Keep reaching as you very slowly lower the leg. So you're trying to touch if you have a wall out there in front of you, you're trying to touch that wall. Even slower. And rest. So if you are like me right now, your left side feels totally crunched up. The right side's all nice and long. Left side is like crumbled up. So let's do the other side so that both sides can have that nice extended feeling. So hug the left knee in towards the chest. And if you did it with your right knee bent, you can bend the right knee. Kind of hold behind the thigh. First, just compressing left side of the rib cage, thigh to the chest. Do a few of those kicks. So you slowly straighten the leg to your degree and then you bend it back in. And you can go at your own pace. Again, loosening up the knee joint, starting to warm the hamstrings, the back of the leg. down to the floor, out away from the body to help stabilize the hips. Reach like you're going to touch the ceiling with the toe, and then keep extending the leg long, longer, longer, as you slowly lower. Even slower. Keep stretching. sides of the body have that nice, long, spacious feeling. Take a couple breaths right here. And if the mind has gone off to some other place, just bringing it back onto the breath. Take another full body stretch. This time, interlace the fingers, keeping the index fingers extended. Reach overhead long, legs together. You can point or flex the toes or do a little bit of both. And relax just a bit. Walk the feet to the bottom right corner of the mat and walk the arms and the head to the top right corner. So you're curved a bit, getting a side body stretch. And try to keep both shoulders down, breathing along the left side of the body. A little deeper variation, 
is to cross the left ankle over the right. And stay for a couple of good breaths. Uncross the ankles. And we're just going to change sides. So come through the center. And then walk the feet towards the left corner of the mat. The head and the arms to the top left. Breathing now along the right side, especially in that rib cage and outer hip. You may cross the right ankle over the left if you wish. Uncross the feet, come back to center for one more stretch right here. Getting as long as you can. And then release. Bring the knees in towards the chest. You can rock gently side to side. slowly make our way up to sitting. So first just roll on to one side and pause there. You can rest your head to your bottom arm. And use the hands to press your way up. And come to a comfortable seat. We'll do a few neck exercises. Just begin by slowly lifting and lowering the chin as if you were slowly nodding the head. Yes. chin goes back to neutral and very slowly now turning to look over the right shoulder and then the left back and forth. So this one's like you're slowly shaking the head no. center. Lower the right ear towards the right shoulder. Option to rest the right hand on the left shoulder and that's all it's doing. It's just resting there and encourages the shoulder to stay down. back up and we'll change left ear to the left shoulder. You can rest the left hand on the right shoulder. back to center. Place the hands onto the knees. This is the seated cow and cat stretch. So if you're familiar with the one on hands and knees, same concept but obviously from a little different positioning. So hands are on the knees. Inhale, press the hands into the knees to help lift the chest. They have an arch in the back behind the heart center. Lift the chin as well. And then as you exhale, Tuck the chin round the back. And just go back and forth a few times. 
Inhale, open the chest and the throat. Exhale, tuck the chin around the back, the shoulder blade moving apart. Just back and forth. You can time it with the breath, inhaling for your cow heart up. Exhaling for the cat with the rounded back. more. And last one. And then coming back to your tall seat. Again, we're going to keep the hands on the knees and we'll take some hip circles. So this is great for warming the hips, the waist. Just start to circle around in one direction. Imagine there's a pole going from the base of your spine straight up and you're circling around that pole. So you try to miss it as you go around. Other than that, you can keep the Circles any size, you can keep them a little smaller, or you can go really big with this. You can start small and let them grow. That's what's nice about these you know, fluid, organic movements. It's really up to you in the moment. Feel it out. Next time you come up through the center, just pause and then take it the other way. Again, any size circles, maybe starting small and letting the circles grow. You can also go any speed that feels good to you here. shoulders up by the ears with an inhale and then exhale let them drop you can exhale out of the mouth like a sigh letting go of anything you no longer need that maybe the shoulders have been carrying inhale exhale a couple more and again Good job. Come on to your hands and your knees. You can always place extra cushion under the knees. So it's a blanket or a towel or fold your mat over so it's double thick. If you're practicing on carpet, that offers a nice layer of cushioning. But if you're on some sort of tile or hardwood, sometimes you could use the extra glove for the knee joints. Now you're on all fours, tabletop position. And we're just going to start out by tucking the toes under. You may be feeling plenty of stretch in the toes already. If so, hang out where you are. If you'd like a little more, start to shift the weight back. You're just stretching the toes, waking up the toes.
come back forward, point the feet, and just tap out the tops of the toes on the floor. And relax. We're gonna do the traditional cow and cat from hands and knees. So we've already done this basic movement. As you inhale, you can press into the palms like you're pushing the floor away. Tuck the chin round the back. This is your cat stretch. And then the cow is going to be the opposite. Drop the belly, lift the head and the tail. Nice to inhale actually on the cow stretch. And then exhale as you push the floor away round the back. Just moving on your own, following your breath pattern. in tabletop neutral spine and from here just start to circle around so now warming the hips the wrists the knees and again with these you can go any speed and you can go any size you can make it a lot more exaggerated bigger circles if you'd like center pause and go in the other direction. And any size circle. back to center. Extend the right leg out behind at hip height. Keep the right hip pointed down towards the floor. We're going to stretch the right leg long and then like you did with the cat stretch, tuck the chin around the back See if you can just bring the knee in towards the nose. They don't need to touch. You're just bringing it in that direction. And then extend everything out once again. Bring it in. Round the back. Knee towards the nose. Extend just five of these. So bring it in. Good for core strength. Squeeze it in. Extend it out, last one. Round the back. Extend, take a stretch, reach. And then release, shake out the hips. Nice job, that's a bit of a fiery pose, fiery exercise, but it's good. And then left leg will extend behind. Just right at hip height and point the hip bone down towards the floor. So rather op than opening out to the side, I'm going to point down. So stretch long, inhale. As you exhale, take that cat stretch, rounding the back, tuck the chin, and the knee comes in. Inhale, extend everything long. Exhale, round it in. Inhale out. Again, just five. You're going to round. This is already three. 
Extend long. Exhale, round the back, knee and nose. Extend out, last one. Round it in. And then extending out, take a stretch. Reach out through the toes. And then come back to your tabletop. Shake out your hips. And child's pose. Big toes come together. Knees out wide. Feet look back towards the heels. It may touch the heels, it may not. Both ways are perfect. And then walk the fingertips forward, lower the forehead down. And good time to return to your breath, following the inhales, the exhales. Turn on to hands and knees. Be sure the wrists are under the shoulders and the legs are hips width apart. Tuck the toes under, come into your first downward dog of the practice. So lift the hips and move as you like. You can pedal the feet. Feel nice to bend both knees at the same time and really stretch the spine long, tailbone up in the air. And just play around with what feels good in your body here. Every time you step onto your mat, you're different than the previous time you were on your mat. So what felt good that day may not feel as good this day. child's pose. Slow the breath. round of downward facing dog. So find your tabletop position, hands shoulder width apart, knees hips width apart, press into the hands, tuck the toes and come up. Oftentimes second time around you're a little warmer to the pose. You might be able to go a little deeper. Press the hands down and forward and that moves the chest back towards the thighs. So you get more into the chest than the shoulders. Again, it's not important if the heels touch the floor, but do reach for the floor so the backs of the legs get long. Slowly walk our feet to our hands. Take as many steps as you need. You can also come out of your dog any other way. And from there, come to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Just like a rag doll. Let the knees bend. Grab on the opposite elbows and just sway. Relax the neck and the jaw. And release the hands. 
can. Keep a good bend to the knees. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last. a standing full body stretch. So the feet can be about hips width apart. You can interlace the fingers, turn the palms down, and then lift up to the ceiling and stretch as tall as you can. And then reach over to your right side. Come back through center, get tall. And now go to the left. Back up through center. One more round, but over to the right. A little further now if you can. Come up through the center. And last time, left side. Reach up. And release. Take one more standing forward fold. And then just bow down over the legs. If you're ready for it, feet can inch a little closer. Another variation is to grab hold of the back of the legs. Now you can pull with the arms to really connect the abdomen to the thighs. Hang the head. If you're very flexible, you don't need to bend the knees. You can lift the seat higher. You just want to make sure that the upper and lower half are always connected. Bend to the knees, slowly round your way up. And again, the head will come up last. We'll do a few shoulder circles. So we'll go forward first. Really big circles with the shoulders. Pause, and we'll reverse. You're squeezing up and back. Only the shoulders working, let everything else soften. And then relax. For the next, be sure you're not too close to a wall or any furniture. You need a little space around you. Feet hips width apart. And then the arms are just by your side. And you can gently turn, like you're trying to see all the way behind you. And let the arms swing. And just let the arms be loose like ropes. Again, you can go slow with this. That feels nice. Or you can go back really letting the arms sing. And slowing it down. And then back to center. Now stand with the feet as close together as you can. Then you want a little space out to the sides of you for this next. Tuck the chin towards the chest and just let the arms hang by your sides. As you inhale, begin to lift the heels. Start to look up and send the arms out from the shoulders. So really wrap the ankles and squeeze the thighs. 
We'll exhale and slowly lower everything down. And we'll do it again. Inhale, squeezing in, raise the heels, look forward. Exhale, coming down. And we've got one more time. Inhale. If you want more challenge, send the arms all the way up. See if you can lift the chin, look to the ceiling. And exhale. Come down. Shake out the legs. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and turn to one side so you can step out wide and still have your feet on your mat. We're going to do a flowing warrior two today. Turn your, go ahead and turn your left toes out. So the left toes will point towards the short end of the mat. And the back foot is at about a 45 degree angle. With both legs straight, inhale, sweep the arms up, look up. And as you exhale, bend the front knee, arms come parallel to the floor. So now you're in a warrior two. And we're gonna repeat that. Inhale, straighten the front leg, lift the arms, the chin. Exhale, return to warrior two. Inhale, sweep it all up. Exhale, bending the front knee. Be cautious that the knee doesn't go over the toes. Last two, inhale up. Exhale, maybe go a little deeper. Inhale, this is the last one. Exhale, see if you can go your deepest yet. Inhale, bring everything up. So just release the arms. Parallel the feet. I'll take a forward fold from here. Hold the outside of the calves, the ankles, feet. Or work on bringing hands to the floor. Start with the fingertips. And then you go from there. Maybe the backs of the fingers, eventually the palms. Bring the weight more forward towards the toes. So the hips align with the ankles. So it's okay if there's a little bend to your knees. your knees come up slowly through the center and we'll do the warrior two the dancing warrior two if you will on the right side so now the right toes will face short end of the mat back foot is about 45 degree angle give or take start with both legs straight and the arms up inhale and as you exhale bend into the front knee arms parallel to the floor Inhale up. Exhale. Warrior two. Inhale, flowing up. Exhale. Inhale. Last two. Maybe go a little deeper here. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale. Your deepest one yet. Look over the front fingertips. Inhale, everything up. Exhale, just release the arms. And again, parallel the feet. Folding forward, but this time I'll turn to the side so you can get a better viewpoint. This time, walk the hands forward so the head is reaching forward. Plant the left hand under your nose. And if you need, you can put a cloth or some books, something under so that the hand can reach. And then twist open to your right side.
spine's nice and long as you're twisting. Really turn the rib cage. And come back through center. Right hand under the nose. Open to the left. Back through center, just fold over the legs for a breath. And keeping a little bend to the knees, roll your way up through standing. Either step or take a little hop, legs together. Check everything out, arms, legs. And then come down and have a seat. Again, just coming to a comfortable seat. Let the arms come by our sides. And then inhale, reach the arms out and up. Like you did with that warrior two. At the top, lift the chin. And then as you exhale the arms down, chin returns to neutral. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do another one. Inhale up. This time as you exhale, turn to your right side. So right hand comes behind, left hand to the right knee. I'm not going to stay too long. We're going to inhale back up through the center and exhale, twist to the other side. And we'll do that a few rounds. So moving twist. Inhale whenever you come through the center. Exhale when you turn. And you can go on your own with your own breath. The next time you twist to your right side, go ahead and hold there for two or three breaths. Should be nice and warm in this twist now, so taking a nice twist, turn through the ribs and the shoulders. Maybe see something behind you. through the center. Exhale, twist to your left. And again, hold here for about three deep breaths. Come up through the center. Exhale, let the hands come around behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the chest and lift the chin. And just walk your way back to sitting up tall. Inhale, sweep the arms out from your side. And then exhale, cross the right arm under the left. Let the hands come onto the shoulders. Keep the elbows parallel to the floor and then pull the arms forward. Feel as the elbows go forward, the shoulder blades 
start to pull apart. And then we'll exaggerate that by dropping the elbows down to the chest. It's that same cat stretch we've done a few times. So you tuck the chin and start to round into the back. And now it's like you're actively pulling the shoulder blades apart. And back up through the center. Open the arms out wide and just switch. So the left arm will come on top, grabbing onto the shoulders. Begin to send the elbows forward. So again, shoulder blades begin to come apart. Now let the elbows drop, tuck the chin, and round into the back. Tanasana, and we'll do a flowing seated forward fold today. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold over the legs. And then inhale, roll yourself right back up. Arms up, inhale. Maybe scooch the heels slightly forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, fold. And on this next one, we'll stay a little while. So you inhale, roll it all up. And exhale to fold. You can hold the calves, the ankles, or the feet. And you want the upper body and the lower body to connect. So bend your knees however much you need. We're focusing on extending the back. And when the abdomen and thighs are together, you know the spine is long. So that's the reason for that. Slowly roll your way up. Let's take Johnny and Shir Shasana. So now you'll fold the right foot inside the left leg. Now sweep up. Exhale, turn so that your chest is pointing towards the left leg and fold. Again, bend this knee as much as you need. Reaching the top of the head towards the foot. Reach beyond your toes, stretch up. Now release the arms and switch the legs. Same pose, other side. 
We'll reach up, turn and fold. Top of the head reaching towards the foot. Reaching through the arms, come up and release. Make your way down on to your back. Hug the knees into your chest and just rock again side to side. Behind the seat, turn the palms down by the hips. I take a flowing bridge sequence. As you inhale, begin to roll up the spine and send the arms overhead. You can massage the back of the shoulders. And then exhale, slowly roll down the spine, arms coming down. Hug the knees to the chest. Inhale, send the legs up towards the ceiling. And again, the arms go back. Exhale, circle the arms around. Squeeze the knees in. Plant the feet to the floor. Inhale, rolling up the spine, arms overhead. Exhale, rolling down the spine, hug the knees to the chest. Inhale, extend the legs, arms go overhead. And exhale, hugging the knees in. Plant the feet. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, rolling down, squeeze the knees in. Inhale, extend the legs, and exhale, hug it all in. I'm going to do just one more. Plant the feet. Inhale, roll up, arms overhead. Exhale, rolling down, squeeze the knees to the chest. Inhale, extend the legs and the arms overhead. And exhale again, bring the knees in. I'll take a happy baby stretch. Grab on the outer edges of the feet, or you can take the ankles or the calves. Knees come outside of the rib cage. And if it feels good, you gently rock. Bring the knees into the chest. Make yourself into a tight ball. Squeeze everything in. You can lift the head. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Shavasana. Let the legs separate. Release the arms from the sides. And the palms face up. Closing the eyes. Let everything relax completely.
to deepen the breath. And feel the physical body. Take light movements, gentle stretches. When you're ready, reach both arms overhead into a full body stretch. And bend the knees and turn to one side. Press your way up to a comfortable seat. Keep the eyes closed. Join hands together at heart center. And we'll share the closing mantra, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, which means Om Peace, Peace, Peace. You may dedicate your mantra to someone specific or to all beings everywhere. Breathe in. Oh. Receptive 